Ever wondered why Mark Zuckerberg looks like he borrowed clothes from his cousin? Or you want to know why the richest man in the world lives in a rented house? Unbelievable, I guess. Do you know that the ultra-rich wear, drive, and eat just like an average human? Sounds absurd, isn't it? In this video, discover seven crucial reasons why wealthy individuals avoid being in the spotlight. So let's jump right in. Rich Who Loves to Live Poor Picture a world where the wealthy opt out of flaunting luxury, embracing lives that don't shout affluence. It's a captivating paradox, challenging our typical notions of the rich. Not every affluent person indulges in grand mansions, exotic cars, and designer items. Some opt for a simpler existence, concealing their prosperity in plain sight. What motivates these high net worth individuals to live a life that contradicts their financial status? Take self-made moguls. Even after achieving success, many stick to a simple approach on their path to wealth. The charm of materialism doesn't grip them, and they remain immune to the desire for ostentatious possessions. But why? Privacy and security play a pivotal role. Think about Mark Zuckerberg, the brains behind Meta. His immense fortune aside, he's famed for his humble lifestyle and unassuming wardrobe. It's not about being frugal, it's about flying under the radar. He still wears tailor-made suits with shirts from H.R. Macy. The inconspicuous approach shields them from potential threats and keeps their personal security intact. Look at Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha, residing in a house he purchased ages ago and driving a decidedly modest car. Do you know which car he cruises around in? Buffett drove a 2001 Lincoln Town Car for 10 years. Finally, he upgraded to his current wheels, a 2014 Cadillac XDS. Buffett sure knows how to pick his cars. When he was asked why he drives such old models, I only drive about 3,500 miles a year, so I buy new cars rarely. His choice isn't only about maintaining humility, it's rooted in personal values. For Buffett, character triumphs over material possessions. Can this way of thinking actually influence how entire companies operate? We don't know. But is this a strategy more of the wealthy should adopt to find peace in their prosperity? What sort of things do these people spend their money on? You are about to get a shock when you come to know about their spending habits. Lifestyle and Spending Habits Ever notice how some rich people seem to have it all but live like they don't? They're not just penny pinchers. They've got a whole different vibe when it comes to spending their dough. These minimalistic big shots aren't throwing cash around for the latest bling. Oh no, they're more into investing in experiences, learning cool things, and bettering themselves. They don't focus on filling their lives with things. Instead, they opt to acquire skills and invest in what truly matters to them. Do you know Elon's vision of building Tesla? Sustainable transportation. It's like they're after personal growth rather than a closet full of designer gear. And what's wild is how they handle their money. While some flashy spenders are living large and big houses, these minimalistic rich folks are chilling in modest places and cruising around in practical cars. They're not just being cheap, they're saving big, investing smart, and making serious moves in philanthropy. And when they do spend, it's not on a million things they'll toss out in a year. These guys are into quality over quantity. Instead of hoarding a bunch of stuff, they're snagging things that last and are good for the planet. So why do some folks feel the need to flaunt their cash while others are cool with living low-key? It's all about what they value. Those flashy spenders are after the spotlight, seeking approval and status through fancy toys and lavish trips. But the minimalistic wealthy crew, they're all about personal happiness and inner peace. They don't need a bunch of stuff to feel good about themselves. But get this, these minimalistic rich aren't only about their bank accounts, they're looking at the big picture. Sustainable businesses, charities, you name it. So, while everyone's busy chasing the next big thing, these minimalistic high rollers are focusing on what really matters. Securing their future and making the world a better place. But to make the world a better place, you have to be smart with your finances. How do these people invest? What do they buy and sell? Let's check it out. Wealth Management Strategies You know, they say as you age that you naturally lean towards minimalism. Take Elon Musk. In his own words, Musk admitted that he doesn't even have a house of his own. He even rented a space for $50,000 near the SpaceX office. And if he wants to chill, well, he does it at his friend's house. This guy is worth $150 billion. So is he cheap? Well, no. 
He knows what truly floats his boat. It's all about finding joy in what matters most. I mean, think about it. In this modern society, we're bombarded with this buy, buy, and buy culture. One-time clothes for one-off events. Spend like every day is your birthday. But why do we do this? Isn't there a better way? The strategy that rich people have cracked works very well for their finances. Maybe it can work for you too. Imagine having your expenses streamlined. You can keep sparking your joy and ditch the rest. It sounds good, right? And sales? They're like magnets pulling us in, making us buy stuff we don't really need. Are you asking about buying five to seven T-shirts all at once, like getting a bunch of shirts in a single shopping trip? How about sticking to a couple you'll actually rock? The same goes for your money game. Simple's better. Trust me. Fewer investments, easier to track. Who needs a billion funds when a handful can do the trick? As Donald Trump has said, part of being a winner is knowing enough is enough. Now, for the wealthy, embracing financial minimalism isn't solely about cutting costs, but optimizing resources to align with personal values and long-term goals. Primarily, financial minimalism for the affluent revolves around efficient resource allocation. By streamlining expenses and eliminating unnecessary clutter in their financial portfolios, rich individuals can focus on strategic investments that generate higher returns. This approach enables them to diversify intelligently, mitigating risks while maximizing growth potential. Moreover, minimalism fosters clarity and a sense of freedom. By reducing excessive spending and material possessions, the affluent can create space for focusing on experiences and endeavors that genuinely matter. This shift enables a greater emphasis on activities that contribute to overall satisfaction and fulfillment. Shifting this mindset sparks philanthropic efforts or investments in meaningful causes, amplifying their societal impact. Minimalism goes beyond decluttering your closet; it's about your wallet too. Is keeping simple a new norm for wealthy people? Are we seeing a shift in a society that nobody ever imagined? You're about to find out. A growing trend among rich people. Let's dive into why the world of ultra riches is turning towards minimalism. We all tend to think of having heaps of materialistic stuff equals being super rich and happy, right? But that might not be the real deal. Society bombards us with the idea that more is always better. Like you have to have a closet bursting with Louis Vuitton clothing to be considered living the high life. Well, rappers like Gucci Mane, Cardi B, and Two Chains clearly believe in that idea. No wonder they have quite a questionable fashion sense. But guess what? The ultra rich often see through this facade. They know that owning tons of things can actually be a big trouble. Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, opts for simplicity to evade the constant pressure to showcase his wealth. His guru for this thought, none other than Steve Jobs. You won't find his or Tim Cook's photos gracing fashion ramps or walking on streets with Prada bags. Because managing businesses, taking care of loads of cars, or dealing with a mountain of clothing can be exhausting, and it's not just the physical effort; it's the mental space it takes up as well. There are worries attached, from stuff getting damaged or stolen to dealing with all of that upkeep. So, what do these savvy rich people do? They're picky about what they own, focusing on things that really matter to them, whether it's functional or just plain cool. Take, for instance, a fancy watch. Instead of a whole bunch of regular ones, they can go for that one super sleek, well-made designer piece. It's not just an accessory; it's a statement, an investment, a nod to amazing craftsmanship. But they also love to hang around in regular watches and clothes. They'd rather have a couple of tailor-made suits that fit like a glove. When it comes to their homes, it's quality over quantity as well. They'd pick a few meaningful pieces of art or furniture that give them happiness, rather than filling every corner with things they don't really care about. But these rich tycoons are all about soaking up meaningful experiences instead of drowning in material possessions. Instead of buying their fifth sports car, they'll invest in learning something totally new. So minimalism isn't about depriving yourself; it's about cherishing what truly matters. It's how these big shots create a sense of real, satisfying wealth. Write down in the comments below what you think about this attitude of rich people to their lives. We revealed why the ultra rich look poor, but do you know there are many secrets that rich people don't want the world to know about? Fret not, we've unveiled each and every secret in our last video, and you must not miss this one for your financial fortune.
Until then, see you next time.